Ladies and gentlemen, inductee Joe Wayne Tubby Roberts. Joe Wayne Tubby Roberts was born in Albertville, Alabama on May the 28th, 1934. Joe's career as an outstanding lineman at Albertville High School started as a freshman in 1948 for Hall of Fame coach Thomas Scoop Howard. He was a starting guard as a sophomore for Hall of Fame coach Vernon Wells in his first year with the Aggies and made All-County that year. As a junior, Joe made All-County again and was honorable mention on the All-State team. That year, Tubby made college recruiting trips every weekend. As a senior, the much-in-demand lineman made All-County for the third time, first-team All-State, alongside 2002 Hall of Fame inductee Milton McCoy of Gunnersville, and was chosen to play in the Alabama High School All-Star Game. As a three-year starter for Wells, Joe's teams went 22-7. High school teammate Dr. Billy Ledbetter said of Roberts, Joe was not only a great football player and teammate, but remains a loyal and steadfast friend. He was one of the best high school linemen I've ever seen. In writing about the 11 members of the all-time Aggie football team revealed by the Sand Mountain Reporter in 1969, Hall of Fame sports writer Hal Hayes wrote, Tubby Roberts was perhaps the quickest man to ever wear the proud Aggie colors. This ever-hustling 5'11", 205-pound terror struck with lightning swiftness and a numbing force. After playing as a freshman at the University of Georgia, he transferred to Jacksonville State and became one of the school's very best of all time. This year, Joe Wayne and fellow all-time Aggie team member Floyd Jackie Morgan joined seven other members of that fabled 11-member team to have been inducted into the Marshall County Sports Hall of Fame. Joe had several opportunities to play in college and chose the University of Georgia. He was on special teams as a freshman and made the starting lineup on defense by midseason. He won a varsity letter that year but dropped out of school for financial reasons. While visiting the Albertville Gunnersville game in 1953, he was approached by Jacksonville State Teachers College line coach Raymond Dirty Wedgeworth, a 2004 Hall of Fame inductee, who offered Joe a scholarship to play for the Gamecocks. Coach Wedgeworth once said, Tubby Roberts was so tough that anyone who lined up against him had their life in danger. Joe was a three-year starter for the Gamecocks, playing both offensive and defensive tackle and guard, and was elected co-captain of the team as a senior. Head coach Don Sauls said, Joe was one of my favorite offensive linemen. He was big and strong and would play well at any position he was needed. He went on to say that the 1955 Refrigerator Bowl game against the undefeated Yankee Conference champion, the University of Rhode Island, was Joe's best game and was no doubt the most important win of my 18 years of coaching. Shown here is the starting lineup for the Gamecocks against Rhode Island. Roberts is the third lineman from the left looking toward the counter. The Gamecocks had lost only once that year, but were a one-touchdown underdog to the rounds. Tubby recovered a fumble and played an outstanding game to help lead the team to win the bowl game 12-10. Following graduation, Joe met classmate Martha Terry in 1954, and he married her two years later on June 9, 1956. Martha was quite a catch for Joe, being voted JSTC Senior Class Beauty, Student Government Association Secretary, friendliest girl on campus, and most likely to succeed. The couple will celebrate their 55th wedding anniversary on June 9, 2011. Joe is active in the First Baptist Church of Springville and the Saddle Club. Joe coached at Springville High School from 1959 to 1963, coaching Bucky Wade, who was a three-year starter at Auburn. Joe retired from coaching in 1963 and began a career in trucking and cattle farming. Martha worked as a public school teacher until her retirement after 28 years in the classroom. Class of 2011 inductee, Joe Wayne Tubby Roberts.